In this video, we'll take a look at the life cycles of ribrome and meadowbrome and identify the best times for effective cultural controls and herbicide applications. Ribrome is becoming more common in arable rotations and can be difficult to distinguish from other brome species. It is easiest to identify the different brome species in June or July when their flower heads are visible above the crop. Mature dry seeds are the best way to differentiate ribrome from meadowbrome and softbrome. When seeds are cut and viewed in a cross section, ribrome seeds have a V or U shape compared to the shallow saucer shape of meadowbrome and soft brome seeds. Ribrome and meadowbrome have similar germination patterns in mid to late autumn, but unlike cereal brome and grape brome, after the seed is shed, it requires a period of time to ripen on soil surface. Light is also important for these species to germinate. For these reasons, delaying cultivations for a month or so after harvest allows the seed to ripen and subsequently germinate to enable control. A pre-emergence herbicide in the late autumn with residual activity will control the majority of emerging rye and meadow brome, and the following contact acting herbicide in the spring should mop up any remaining plants. Rye and meadow brome species will flower and set seed in midsummer, making any remaining plants easier to identify. To find out more about rye and meadow brome, visit our website cropscience.bear.co.uk forward slash rye hyphen brome or cropscience.bear.co.uk forward slash meadow hyphen brome.